Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala mabad ayyul ahabbati fillah The question arises, should we join groups like ISIS or ISIL, the Islamic uh, Army of Iraq and these other groups uh, like the Taliban, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab in Somalia? Ahabbati fillah, what we have to realize and as the ulama have given us ample toji hat in these affairs, is that first and foremost, striving and everything related to the Sharia has to be based on Kitabillah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it has to be united upon Kitabillah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And those great actions, as the Prophet said, Men that when a person strives in the cause for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or that it has to be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to raise the kalimat Allah uliya, in this time and age, probably unlike what we've seen in past centuries, we have various groups in jama'at who fight around the globe, often according to a particular, maybe they're united on a particular creed, maybe not. But more often than not, they have a, a methodology in, and a means for which they believe they are establishing the sharia. And what we see in all of the groups that I've already mentioned, and recently with the group ISIL and ISIS and these other groups, is that they share brutality, but yet they want to establish Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. Al-Shabaab, Ahabatifillah, we have our youth in America and Canada running to go with these people. But these people have no ulama of Ahl sunnah who support them. These people establish and wage wars against countries based on their own view about what's permissible and what's not permissible. They do terrorist actions like in malls, taking over malls, killing women and children, destroying property, and causing greater harm and fitna for the Muslims in those local communities based on what they call feasibility And let's look at Boko Haram, Ahabatifillah. Boko Haram, which from my understanding, means something like the prohibition of Western education. They go to such an extent and such an extreme of kidnapping girls, Muslim girls. What kind of Islam are they supporting? How can they justify this in the name of the Lord of the world? And do you want to be involved in a struggle like this? Do you want to give your life and your sacrifice, your life, your property, and your wealth for some struggle like this? For terror and causing wickedness throughout the earth? This kind of facade, this kind of wickedness only increases wickedness, no matter if someone has a righteous intention. More often than not, now I'm not saying every individual that goes and joins, I'm not making a hukum like this. What I'm saying, Ahabatifillah, is trying to discourage our youth from getting caught up in these affairs. Because what you will find, what you won't find from previous times in Islamic history, is you find that most of these groups are reactionary. Meaning they are reacting to the fact that we don't have a Khalifa. They're reacting to the fact that we don't have unified leadership. They're reacting to the fact that there are not many strong Islamic states. They're reacting to the fact that they believe uh, they're being oppressed. And Muslims are being oppressed and persecuted around the world. So they're reacting. But do you want to follow a reaction? Or do you want to be a part of something which is established? And which is established? Because what you'll find which is common with all these groups is they have no program. Meaning that even if they somehow were to have success and establish uh, a territory 
Can they govern the people? Can they provide food and shelter? Can they keep oil flowing in their countries? Do they have the professional skills? Do they have the ability to keep safety and prosperity in those lands and protect the people so the people can raise their children, so the people can be educated, so the children can be educated in any sense, even in the Sharia sense? Ahabat al-Fillah, you'll find that they have no plan. Their plan is more often than not based on bloodshed and vengeance. And this is not something pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. Ahabat al-Fillah, what you'll find that most of the jihadi takfiri groups, and I'm not saying all these groups are jihadi takfiri because I don't know. But what we do know is many of them are. The ones that we know because we have their statements, we have the statements of their leaders, the ulama have analyzed them, we've seen them, we, we look at them on the scale of the sharia and we see this clearly. Jihadi takfiris, they tend to take takfir, make takfir based upon unorthodox criterions and principles. For example, they accuse all the leaders of apostasy and violence and without exception. And their only means of addressing things is through violence. Also, and you can find this, this was the case of people like Zarqawi in Iraq and, and their, their, their other predecessors and Bin Laden and so forth, that they have no remedy. Their only vision is killing. And they say the Sharia. Well, what kind of Sharia are you going to propagate just with weapons? You're not going to feed the children. You're not going to educate your children. You're not going to establish anything. There's no vision, Ahabatifillah. These people also, what they share in common is they declare jihad based upon an unorthodox methodology and tend to see it as a continuous revolutionary struggle for both the individual and groups. So they've divided into groups and sects and parties. And if you're not with us, you're against us. What you find amongst them, which is very common with the, uh, 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 the initial sect, the Khawarij, is is they make takfir of one another. So meaning, and this is even, this is the walk, I don't deny it. Look at recently what happened. What about ISIS? They, they've declared that they are the rulers of the Muslim world. They've declared this. We don't know where they got this authority. We don't know what they control. We don't know anything about them. But they declare that they're the rulers of the Muslims. On top of that, Ahabatifillah, they tried to make a pact with Al Nusra. Nusra is the group which is a mixed group of Takfiris and other groups all together uh, fighting Bashar, uh, the Murtid, the Shaitan in Syria. So they're fighting a devil in Syria and rebelling against a devil in Syria, but at the expense of the, 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 the lives of the women and children. Ahabatifillah, the point is, they tried, these two tr groups, they discussed about coming together. Al-Nusra didn't want to come under them. So what did those other guys do? They fought between. They had battles in, on the borders of Iraq and right there in Syria. Killing one another. Supposedly, where's the fighting feasibility? Where's the fighting feasibility your rulership? Fights are feasibility minhajik? That's what it is, Ahabatifillah. So don't be fooled, O oh youth of Islam. And don't join struggles of falsehood and waste your lives and your property and your wealth and the wealth of your families and break the hearts of your mothers and your families and cause fitna for the Muslims everywhere based on falsehood. The Prophet said, If tarakat al Yahud al wa sab'in firqa, if tarakat al Nasara al Natain wa sab'in firqa, the Prophet said the Jews broke into 71 sects, Christians into 72 sects, my Ummah into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And the, 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 the Sahaba said, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Those who are upon my Sunnah and the Sunnah of my companions. The Prophet said, Alaykum bi sam'i, Alaykum. Uh, he said, Whoever lives after me will see many differences. Isn't this what we see now? We see differences upon differences upon differences because we don't have united leadership. And we have uh, people declaring that they are from Ahl Sunnah and people declaring that they're Ahl Jihad and these people, the Tekfiris over here, these, one, these ones starting a group over here making the bayah saying you've got to join us or you're against us. This is the Minhaj of George Bush. 
This is the minhaj of Tony Blair. They were the same ones who said, you're poor against us. And they preceded some of these guys. But then, of course, before then, there was many others who preceded them. The point being, a habit of Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, kathira. You'll see many differences. Then he gave us a prescription. And it's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa. By Allah, avoid this kind of facade and stick with the ulama of Islam. I know you've heard many things. The Hizbis and the different groups and sects will criticize the ulama, the major scholars, those ones who have white beards from years and years of, of serving Islam and establishing the sunnah and, 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 and inviting people to the sunnah and teaching the sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but the people who don't even have a beard will criticize them and say, don't listen to them, those are scholars of the government. Don't listen to them, those are scholars of Hayat al Or recently we have people like Yasser Qadi who says, no, don't listen to them, those people can't even ha hold a debate with uh, these contemporary issues of secularisms and all these other isms that face our youth. A'udhu billah, ikhwana billah, wallahi, those people are on one minhaj. They have one sabil, and it's a sabil of destruction, and it is calling you away from the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem. Fasal ahli dhikrin kuntum la ta'alamu. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. Who else are you going to ask? You're going to ask those young people? You're going to ask someone who graduated uh, uh, just a few years ago, who was just learning Arabic, and then all of a sudden they're going to be your mufti in these major masa'in? and tell you it's okay to join this group, it's okay to join that sect, it's okay to fight for this cause on batil. وَعِيَاذٌ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ أَيُّهَا الْحَبْتِ فِي اللَّهِ كُنْ سَلَفِينَ عَلَى جَادَ Be on the tariqa ahl sunnah Strive for the tariqa ahl sunnah and avoid uh, differences and those things which will cause you harm and the harm to your community. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and my own desires. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many sins. And may Allah guide our youth to that which is correct.